uh, picture on the TV. Uh, there's a great deal of contrast in it, and uh, currently it's upside down on our monitor, but we can make out uh, a fair amount of detail. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. Sunday, July 20th, 1969. Around the world, nearly a billion people watch this moment on television as the first man from Earth prepared to set foot upon the moon. At the foot of the ladder, the lamb footbeds are only uh, uh, depressed in the surface about uh, one or two inches, uh, although the surface appears to be uh, very, very fine-grained as you get close to it. It's almost like a powder. Ground mass uh, is very fine. I'm going to step off the lamb now. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. All that we have accomplished in space all that we may accomplish in days and years to come. We stand ready to share for the benefit of all mankind. As we explore the reaches of space, let us go to the new worlds together, not as new worlds to be conquered, but as a new adventure to be shared. Since the earliest time man has imagined this moment, the moment when his fellow man would make the first journey to the moon. Now the time had come. In the sixth decade of the 20th century, the ancient dream was to become a reality. The flight of Apollo 11 was the culmination of many years of planning, working, building, and testing. Thousands of people had contributed toward this day of accomplishment. The great Saturn V rocket and the complex Apollo spacecraft had been assembled together and moved to the launch pad. The equipment and techniques and personnel had been proved in earlier missions, and now they were ready. The astronauts chosen for this mission had flown it many times in ground-based simulators. They had all been in space before. They had trained carefully and well, and now they too were ready. Astronaut Michael Collins would pilot the Apollo Command Module. Astronaut Edwin Aldrin, Jr. would pilot the Lunar Module. And astronaut Neil Armstrong would serve as mission commander. Armstrong would be the first man to step upon the moon. July 16th, the day had come. The moon awaited. The men rose early, ate breakfast, and dressed in their spacesuits. 